indirect hits of lightning are enough to seriously damage your home appliances. Yolanda Fernandez shows you how to protect night. Florida power experts say even small power surges that often go undetected can damage your appliances over a period of time. Well, Terry, Terrell Harris is joining us now with sports tonight, and uh, what, you've just returned from Camp Perkins today, right? Yes, I've been there again, John, <laughs> and they're getting ready for their big preseason opener. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers' first preseason outing is this weekend. Vinny Testaverde and the Bucks will take on Eric Dickerson and the Indianapolis Colts in Tampa Stadium. But until then, there's a lot of work to be done, so two-a-day practice sessions will continue through Wednesday. Even though Saturday's game doesn't go into the win-loss column, Coach Perkins says it's still important. It will help the coaching staff decide who stays and plays and who goes. The hitting is more intense, so are the coaches. With the Bucks' preseason opener just five days away, players are trying to make lasting impressions on Coach Perkins to earn the right to play Saturday. And I know the players are looking forward to it. But it gives us a chance as coaches to evaluate a lot of our young people that we want to see in a, in a game-type situation. Perkins says Saturday's lineups haven't been set, but the first-line guys will most likely start. They, however, aren't expected to play very long. The most important thing about this first game is to, is to make sure we play our young guys enough that we can evaluate them. Important because there's some stiff competition for positions on the offensive and defensive lines in the linebacking core and defensive backfield. Overall, from a team standpoint, we're just head and shoulders uh, better from a depth standpoint and competition standpoint in most every area from last year. Unfortunately, he'll lose some of that depth as the preseason moves along. By August 23rd, the 93-man squad must be whittled down to 60, and by August 29th, only 47 players can be on the team. Now to baseball. Just eight games in the majors today with four games in each league. The lone afternoon contest was played in Toronto, where the Blue Jays got by the Twins. George Bell was the hero of this game. In the eighth inning, Bell connected with the pitch from reliever Jeff Reardon for a three-run homer. Toronto's Dave Steve got the win and Frank Viola the loss. Now, the rest of tonight's scores from the majors on a roll. And finally tonight, heavyweight champion Mike Tyson's title fight against Frank Bruno may be rescheduled for October 8th. The fight was originally set for September 3rd, but Tyson backed off after he won the right to schedule his own fights. Whether, whatever the new date, the fight will be held at Wembley Stadium in London. London, England, huh? Yes. It's, it's been a while since there's been a heavyweight fight overseas, right? Yes, it's been a long time, but just think. Wembley Stadium holds 70,000 people. That could be one heck of a fight. They just had a big football game yes, there recently. Sure did. Okay. Thanks a lot, Terrell.